So I finally got myself a pair of these and they came fresh from the boat after being sold out as the best selling trail shoe in the run store and I kind of need to see what they're all about. So let me just start the review by saying this shoe just isn't for me. I've got about a thumb space on either side of the foot so for those of you with wide feet this is perfect for you. So just based on my size 12s that I run in, they're basically like clown shoes, massive wide spaces enough for your toes to display and people love that. People love the zero drop that Ultras come with and they love the fact there's not a lot of structure, it's quite a flexible shoe and you kind of just go and feel the trails as you run it. This just doesn't work for me. Personally, I prefer a narrower shoe, something that fits tightly around the midfoot, doesn't have much room to move in, is quite responsive and isn't at all flexible like you see in the Ultra. And that's generally why I gravitate towards shoes like the Salomons. Now I've got a lot of friends who run in the shoe and they love it to bits. My buddy Nick ran the UTCT 100 in them and literally didn't have any issues. My friends for Waz and Tariq run in these shoes all the time and it literally depends on the shape of your foot. And I think that's kind of important here. So it's got enough comfort in the midsole, it's got enough durability in that outsole and enough grip and provides enough protection over the top with this, with this upper. Not the toughest upper, I mean on the first run on Platte Club Gorge I had a bit of a scuff over here and I mean that already was kind of a signal that maybe these shoes aren't necessarily for me. So I had the Lone Peak 2.5 a couple of years ago and this is definitely an improvement from that in terms of the upper because that was all mesh and just didn't survive the fading boost on Table Mountain. This has got a bit more protection, however I'm still lacking that responsiveness and maybe it's just purely because my foot just doesn't fit the shoe and I think that's a big issue. This whole foot story and this whole foot gate, if you want to call it that foot gate, I think it's a funny one, um, is like the fact that the shoe didn't fit me snugly enough meant there was a lot of play in the shoe. With a finger space on either side for my foot to kind of wiggle around, yes it sounds great especially if you think about ultras and long distance and being able to splay your toes especially when your feet start to swell. But it didn't boat or build any confidence in my ability when I was running downhill and I could never really fully test the shoe because I'm always worried like, am I going to go over my ankle if I step on something really technical or rock on platic of gorge I can let you feel the, the shoe twisting around my foot and that's not great so my entire review was basically compromised and I had to kind of go as slower and I didn't set any PRs in the shoe purely because the fit was wrong so just some comments on the on the fit before I close out the fit discussion I prefer something with a lot more structure around the ankle and I suppose I have got I've, or I suffer from ankle sprains often and I need something that's a bit more structured and not as soft as this and the shoe is basically it's for those people who like that minimal feel and almost are running in minimalist shoes this is basically it is barely structured to it it allows your foot to kind of move as naturally um, it's got lots of space the ankle area just doesn't necessarily work for me there's a cutout over here and I think it's just too much space not enough structure and I prefer something again that's more structured more built up and provides a bit more kind of like guidance for your foot especially if you're trying to sell someone on a shoe and saying that this is the best or that's the best it actually depends on the shoe and how it fits you so personally I have a narrower foot so I opt obviously for Salomon and so on but if you have a wider foot Alpha does make sense. So that's kind of the message for this review. Not much about the shoe, I suppose. You can pick this up at the run store for 2200 and great price. And people love the shoe. But ultimately the message is, find a shoe that works for you. I'm sitting here with a massive ankle sprain. So I'm not saying that the shoe is responsible for my injury. I'm just saying that the shoe didn't fit me and it's not necessarily for me or for my foot shape. And it probably exaggerated the result of the sprain. And now I've been out for about three weeks. So all I'm saying is, Choose the right shoe for you, go into the stores like the run store, try the shoes on that are right for you, go for a short run and if it works for you, that's the good starting point. I always believe in choosing something that has a great midfoot lockdown first and then going from there. So yeah, if you like the Ultras and you want to try these Lone Peaks and you want to try the Superiors and the rest of the range, go check them out. This is probably the last Ultra I'll ever be buying because it's just not right for my foot. So yeah, if you guys are Ultra runners, please Add your comments below, tell me your experiences with the shoes, like, subscribe, do your thing down there below and yeah, I'd like to hear your feedback.